Okay, so I don't know if it's still in tune. Um, I watched a video that basically said you have to do C4, which is the middle C on the piano. That means C to the fourth octave. So on a on a piano, let's pretend this is a real piano. So this here is the lowest C, so that would be C1, that would be C2, that would be C3, and that would be C4, and that would be the middle C on a piano if this soulless machine had any heart. Uh, as it stands, this is the middle C, or this is the middle C, depending on what you're playing. Um, so, yeah, I have a bigger piano, but I just wanted to say that. So, I tried tuning this, um, this sitar, the sitar actually, it's a Persian sitar, which is a form of lute. I tried tuning it to um, ukulele tuning. Where'd my tuner go? Here it is. So I don't know if it's still in tune after the experiment I just did. And the tuner keeps popping off. So, fourth string, G. Yeah, that's a pretty good G. And what I learned from the um, YouTube tutorial was that you have to, when you're tuning it, you tune it ever so slightly. He speaks about tuning it like a clock radio, which in 2017 for Canadian culture, uh, most of us probably don't have the clock radio. I had one of those, I'm 33, I had one of those when I was a boy, or my dad had one of those. Nowadays you just press a button and it finds the nearest station. But imagine turning a dial very slowly. So you have to, like, minuscule turns of the dial. And you get this, so you get G. It's not a perfect G, but it's very close considering what we have available. C, that's a perfect C apparently. It's supposed to be turned to tuned to C, the fourth C. And this, um, this tuner here doesn't tell you which degree of C you're tuned to. And then A, remember this is like a ukulele, so G, C, A, and then A. Oh, well, this should be E, but it's G, C, A, A. Uh, but what, what the guy said was that this string, that's kind of like your, I forget what he called it, like your buzzer string, like your, I, I guess to use guitar lingo, you'd say it would be like your bass string, your, your sixth string, um, your low E. Um, this is like C4, C4, I think like G, and then C3 or something. It was complicated. But um, to know that, <laughs> to know that you need to be playing Persian music, which I'm all for. I would like to learn Persian music, but I don't know any Persian music because I'm ignorant. Um, and uh, so you see down at the bottom by the bridge, all the strings are pretty much in alignment, but I'll take this off and we've proved our point. So ideally at this point I'd tune the first string, or I don't know if it's called the fourth string, uh, in, anyway, yeah it would be called the fourth string. Uh, I'm so confused. So it's G, C, A, A right now. And we get this when we play it. That's a little harsh, but... Which is a passable A minor 7. And see, up here at the top, 
the strings are really close together. So it's like a 12 string guitar or it's like a mandolin with eight strings where you have to be really careful if you're just trying to press down on one string. So. so here's me pressing down on the first fret. Only one string, the fourth string. And here's me pressing down on both the the third and fourth string on the first fret. It's just barring it. <clears throat> so we have a possible A minor 7. What do we do? Do we treat it like a, a mandolin and do this for the G? some semblance of love song by the cure but it is really out there so it's like yeah this is not meant for uh plastics. my fingers aren't ready for this This is a soft pick.
I can continue with this. I feel really self-conscious. Uh, thank you for your time.